We begin with blunt words from the head of Seattle's Police Officers Guild. Speaking with Cairo 7 tonight, Mike Solon denounced the deadly overnight shooting that happened at the CHOP, the Capitol Hill Occupied protest. And he said that his officers are increasingly under attack from demonstrators. Cairo 7's Ryan Sims was the only reporter at that news conference, and he joins us live from Seattle's West Precinct. Ryan. Yeah, hey, Lindsay, the head of the guild says he wanted to come here to the West Precinct because this is the site of repeated vandalism. You can see some of it on the wall here. He says that incidents like this by demonstrators and protesters need to stop. The community is at grave risk, and the men and women that provide that professional public safety service, they're at grave risk as well. Mike Solon said he was saddened but not surprised that there was a deadly shooting inside the CHOP. As head of the Seattle Police Officers Guild, he told us SPD tried to respond to the shooting as quickly as possible. And this video by police shows they faced pushback from demonstrators as soon as they arrived near the East Precinct. It's the summer of chaos and lawlessness if what happened this morning continues. One person died in the shooting while another was seriously hurt. Friends of the person who died identified him as 19-year-old Lorenzo Anderson, a local rapper who goes by Lil Mob. As police continue to track down the shooter, Solon is now calling on SPD to release all body camera and security videos of officers being harassed and threatened inside the shop. He says those videos are the only way for the public and lawmakers to see how violent things have gotten for police there. Why is our elected officials blaming it on police? It's a complete false narrative. And we are tired of it. Inside the CHOP today, we found mixed opinions about whether police and emergency crews should be allowed in. I think the police should be let in. You know, I think, you know, things need to be investigated. They need to stay away because their presence only instigates. We can police ourselves. Today, Solon said nothing but support from elected officials will be enough to protect police who do respond to the CHOP. Can you elaborate on, on what the communication has been like with the mayor's office? I haven't spoken with the mayor's office in over a week. And why is that? I would put that question on the mayor's office. Why hasn't law enforcement Public safety been brought to the table to try to figure this out. Until that happens, he said police officers expect to deal with more violence inside the shop, including against officers themselves. Now, the head of the guild also told me that there has been no communication so far between the guild and Chief Carmen Best, that is the chief of Seattle police. We are live in Seattle tonight. Ryan Sims, Cairo 7 News.